This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Yeah! Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan, and it is finally time. A few weeks back, I put out a video where I announced the latest YouTube art prompt. I said, everybody make some art around the theme of reaching new heights. You can make a painting, you can make a digital illustration, you can make a poem, you can make a song, you can do whatever you want. Email it to me, and I'm gonna review your art. Now, I think this is the third time I've done this on my YouTube channel. I love checking out you guys' art. I love to see how talented this community is, but this time, it's a little bit special. We have a grand prize of $500 to my absolute favorite. So that's super exciting. And man, there was so many art submissions. All right, let's see how many entries we got. One through 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Oh gosh, 800, 900. Oh, it keeps going. 1,000, 1,050. Oh my goodness, 1,050 submissions. This is gonna be crazy to go through all these. There was like 1,050 art submissions and this video would have come out a lot sooner but I actually got my Gmail account locked like seven or eight times because Gmail thinks it was very suspicious that I was downloading like a thousand attachments. But here we are, I got everybody's downloaded. I looked at every single art submission. I had to narrow it down. I think I picked out like 160 finalists and that would have made this video like two hours long. So I narrowed it down and I'm gonna try and talk about each one very quickly. This is just my opinion. This is the stuff that I like. Just because I didn't necessarily choose your picture does not mean that there wasn't like so many dope ones that I wish I could have chose. You're dope. You know you're dope. Everybody did such a fantastic job. So I'm just about to review all you guys' amazing artwork, but I am going to be giving away 500 bucks in this video. So real quick, let's hear a word from our sponsor to earn that prize money. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one dynamic platform to help you run your business, launch your brand, and build a beautiful website. I love Squarespace. I've been using them for years and years and years. My website 1000art.com is built on Squarespace. I've been using them way longer than they've been a sponsor. It's super easy to build a website with Squarespace with their beautiful award-winning templates. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be an HTML guru. You just take your awesome content, pop it into their beautiful templates, and you're off and running. It's like super simple to build a website. But if you do run into any issues, they have 24-7 customer support, and they have helped me out of a few issues in the past. So whether you're an artist or a photographer or a poet or a musician or whatever, you you can have a beautiful website. You can have a place where your content lives. You can be like me and build your online shop on Squarespace and really it's the center to my whole business. So what are you waiting for? When you're ready to start your free trial, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's jump into this and take a look at a few of the pieces that you guys made around the theme of reaching new heights. All right, first one. From Diego, self-taught artist from Chile. Oh man, the detail and the line art on this is so sick. All the different kind of crazy directional hatching is super sick. I'm a sucker for like really detailed black and white illustrations. This has so much movement and so much action to it. Awesome work, Diego. This looks fantastic. Next one is from Ollie from France. Oh, we got another like super crazy, awesome detailed black and white illustration. I love the framing on this and the composition. It's such a good balance balance of black and white and like every single section of it that you look at has so much detail going on. Yeah, that's so sick. You guys might notice that I'm going through these faster than I have in previous videos. I usually talk for like a minute about each one. That's just not gonna work. I figured shorter reviews, but more art, more time to show off all the amazing submissions. This one's from Uriel. I used 100% marker on this. I was born with cerebral palsy, so my whole life I've been having to push towards new heights and stay sane with everything. Thing I do, including art. Oh, all of that on a tiny little postal label. I really love the grayscale rendering on like the central kind of uh, vampire face here. It's really dope to be doing that with markers as well. Awesome job. When I announced this uh, competition, I told everybody to tag their Instagram like on the photo in the bottom right hand corner. A lot of you folks forgot to do that. So it, down in the comments, if you want to put a timestamp of where your art appeared and then your Instagram name, shout yourself out. 
about, this video is all about like shouting out my audience and how dope they are. I would recommend maybe don't do the link to your Instagram because YouTube's comment system will probably flag that as spam. Next one, Sylvain. This is my ballpoint drawing for your art prompt contest. I use Bic ballpoint. Dang, that's super sick. I love your style of characters. It's got like a little bit of realism, but it's also kind of fantasticified and exaggerated characteristics of the face. Both the dude and the lady, this lady is crazy. All those patterns on her clothes. Like when you use ballpoint pen, you can't erase. That's from Sly. Next one. I'm your fan from the Philippines. My name is Mishi Nobi. Maybe 10 hundred can notice one of the million Filipinos who's rooting on their senpai. At least by saying Mabuhay Ang Panoy in your future vlog will make us happy and more inspired in, cre in creating. I don't know what I just said, but Mabuhay Ang Panoy. Probably said that wrong. Anyway, let's take a look. Oh man, that is so much detail. This must have taken forever to draw. Crazy attention to detail. Every square inch is filled. I don't even know where to look first. Oh, she sent another one too. Oh, I even like this one more with the faces. This is super killer. It must have taken you so long. Oh, there's like a secret hidden face in there too, I just noticed. Bonus points to anyone who sees the hidden face in this. There's three like regular looking ones and then there's like a magic eye hidden one. That's sick, that's sick. Awesome job, love that one. This one's from Julien. They sent an animation. So it's like this alpaca bouncing on the moon as the moon kind of rotates. Oh, and then it takes off. <laughs> That's so sick. Very cute. I wasn't expecting it to take off in outer space. I like the twist ending. This one's from Sneed Art, a fellow Michigander. Yeah, yeah, Michigan, what? <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so cool. Such awesome color schemes. This like trippy psychedelic city. There's just a lot of little details in here. I really like the composition on this and I really like your color choices. Killer, moving quick, moving quick. We got Mark from Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, we got this super cool illustrative vibe. I like the monochromatic symbol color scheme. You got these ladders to represent reaching new heights. This skull island. And yeah, it's just clean. It's just quality. I love that piece. Nice job. Next we have Nicholas Hooper. Once again, really clean illustration. I like the pinks and the teals and the golds. I like the composition. The central figure with so much stuff going on around him. That's just a killer piece. And I like your character style a lot. Next is Ken Nichols. This one's just like super painterly, really surreal. I like the composition. It almost looks like uh, the type of art that you would make with a collage, but it's like an actual painting. He sent one more of this like awesome deck chair in the middle of a highway. Very surreal, taking things that might be mundane, but don't belong together, mashing them together to make a really unique piece. And this painterly style is like super quality. Super sick job, Ken. Next one's from Alex. Alex sent this photo of him that just makes me feel kind of sick. <laughs> High lining stretched across like a giant ravine and I'm impressed and I'm scared and I don't know how you do this. I don't even see any safety line. You're insane, Alex. Next one is from Ronell. Really insane graphite work. These animals look so good. It's such a cool, like, it's like the smoke is turning into these crazy animals. I just love the amount of detail and shading that's going on here. Pencil on paper, killing it. Next one's from John Riley. I just really like this color scheme of the purple and the teal. Simple, clean, illustrative line work with great shades shading, really strong use of color, and just clean, good illustration, awesome job. Cruising through them, y'all. Let's play a piece of music. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be playing musical submissions that were also sent to me, and I'll put like the people who made them down in this corner. So when you see like music by blah, 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 down in this corner, that's musical submissions from you awesome musicians in this community who are talented. <laughs> Next one's from Alfredo Pugai, sending love all the way from the Philippines. Say hi to Chelsea and Georgie. I will, hi Chelsea, hi Georgie. <laughs> this one's too cute, look at that pug with his big old sparkly eyes and his round butt being abducted by aliens. <laughs> I just like this illustration, I thought it was cute, it made me chuckle. And yeah, it's actually really well done as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Shout out Philippines, good job. Job, Alfredo. Next one is from Rise. I'm a 53 year old female who is a huge fan of your art. I could be your mother or grandmother. <laughs> I don't know about all that. But this piece is insane. Oh snap. This is such a sick piece. This crazy mad hatter. All these mugs and a pile of hats. This 
bunny, bug-eyed bunny. I really like the style on this. It's really cool, unique style of illustration. Nice job. Oh, I said rise. I guess I was supposed to pronounce it Risa. Mm, okay, good job. Next one is from Tommy Villarreal. This is super, super trippy, awesome, cool illustration. Lots of tons of details. I'm just impressed. Hands coming out of the portal, the mashup of like a ram's head with like these wings made of eyeballs and like, it's trippy, man. It's trippy and I like it. Man, y'all are talented. Dang, this is fun. <laughs> I love looking at all this sweet art, reaching new heights. Really awesome, simple, clean, bold, illustrative. Looks like a really cool like rock and roll poster or something like that. Awesome teals and oranges. It's just bold and iconic and classy and clean and striking. And I love this piece. I wish I had this as a poster in my house. Nice job, Autumn. Next one is Matt French from the UK. This is cool. These are really cool pieces. Very surreal. This guy climbing a ladder out of his head, reaching new heights. We have these kind of shoes flying off the page. And then the same guy with like bubble umbrellas coming out of his head. I just thought this is cool. It kind of looks like collage style art, but still has this like painting texture and illustrative elements to it. It's really unique. Awesome job, Matt. Love that. Oh, everybody's killing it. Next one is from Kemna Sean. This is so cute. I just love the storytelling that's going on in this piece. Yeah, <laughs> using the drone to get the dog treats. I like the little photo of them on the fridge. Evidently, their owners are on vacation according to that calendar on the fridge. This is an awesome, fun illustration that just tells a really funny story. Awesome job, uh, Kemna. Let's hear another piece of music by this person. <laughs> All right, next one. Hi, Peter. My name is Neil Marquez. I'm a tattooer from Mallorca, Spain. Attaches my painting. It's done with ink, watercolor, and liquid acrylics. This one is so crazy awesome. This like cyborg geisha done in like a traditional style, but all these futuristic elements. The colors are Oh, so rich. The composition is popping. If this was hanging on my wall, I would be very, very happy. Super killer work. I love the mixture of traditional and futuristic. Awesome job, Neil. Simon says, what better way to reach new heights than turn your uncle into a hot air balloon and attach a rubber ring to it? This is a crazy illustration. He's got that like cork up his nostril. Oh, there's a little watcher in there. Thanks for the shout out. Got some instigators in there too. But yeah, I just like this illustration style, your line art, the different weights of your outer stroke versus your detailed stroke. Clean illustration that's also just bonkers and I love it. Nice job, Simon. Next one is from Surya Star. This one is so cool because of the perspective, like this first person mountain bike view with so much speed and so much motion depicted on the trail and then this like super psychedelic trippy forest that they're riding through. I just love how fast this piece feels and I love the perspective that they drew it from. Love that. Awesome job, Surya. Lucas Changas. Sub 10 Hun, hope you like my art. Love from Brazil. Super awesome realistic rendering of this guy floating, these balloons. Cool composition. Thank you for uh, gently hiding the non-YouTube appropriate parts of the male anatomy with that cloud so that I could put this on my channel. <laughs> awesome. Lucas from Brazil. I love Brazil. Next one's from Mike Ellis. I'm 42 years old and have spent many years thinking of all kinds of projects and then coming up with excuses to not follow through. Your videos have been really inspiring and I have been drawing a lot more lately. I've even thought about starting a website to share some art. Squarespace. <laughs> this is my first real start to finish project in quite some time. Hope you enjoy it. Keep up the great art and great videos. Thanks for the inspiration. Thank you, Mike. Mike made this. Oh, <laughs> this is sick. I wish I could actually do that. Looks like he drew like a crazy portrait of me. He's got my black and white painted hat on there. He's got that limited edition skateboard I designed that I'm riding. I'm doing such a sweet like Tony Hawk move. Flattery gets you everywhere, Mike. I like how it's set like in the Himalayas with like the Tibetan prayer flags, like super sick. I love this piece. Good job on actually finishing a piece, staying motivated, reaching new heights. Uh, my dude, Mike.
Next one, yeah! Bruno Abate from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I really, really like the lighting on this piece. That's really what made me pick it. The glowing white hair, the glowing planetary orbs, the power and the energy emanating from these ladies. Good job, Bruno. Next one, Jania Cher. This one's super sick because I love the perspective. I love this artist girl being shot out of this cannon. And I just really like the concept of this piece. It's kind of loose and sketchy, but the colors are really awesome really sweet painterly vibes of digital illustration. Awesome job, Genia. Next one is Inti from Montevideo, Uruguay. Probably said that wrong. They made this, whoa, this is super sick with these like crazy tall mushrooms, super psychedelic, super magic. Again, I like the perspective. The camera is kind of low shooting up, getting these super tall mushrooms in this forest. The scale of this piece, it seems like the characters are really tiny, but the world seems huge. Just this kind of world building that you're doing. So that's super sick. Let's hear another piece of music by this person right here. Mmm. Feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is from Laos, and then <laughs> he said, yeah, it's Scandinavian. You can call me Luke if it's easier. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce Scandinavian words at all. So we're gonna say Luke from Copenhagen. <laughs> and Luke made this super awesome illustration that he also turned into like an animation. I really like the dark and light values, the different styles of shading, strong composition with a cool animation effect. Sick. Man, you guys are so talented. Next one is from Shemri. This one is so crazy. It must have taken so long to draw all those worms. He's got the one golden worm. This kind of makes me think of like, you know, everybody kind of complains about social media and how there's just so much out there. And it's like, as an artist, it's hard to rise to the top. And it's like standing out from the crowd and trying to do things a little bit differently so that you get noticed. So I can definitely feel this. But yeah, the all the details and all the shading on each little worm all intertwining super crazy love the concept the golden worm we all feel that way sometimes <laughs> i am the golden worm next one is from kedim art from france we have this super cool painting of a girl reading a book called reaching new heights by educating yourself all these little details i love looking at art for longer and longer and like discovering new things the composition on this piece is strong the colors are strong. Nice job, Kedim Art. They also said they're only 16 years old. Killing it. I wish I was that good at 16. I wasn't even close. Next one is from Steven Klika. <laughs> this piece is just super awesome. Again, the perspective is rad. It tells a <laughs> kind of a crazy story. This guy is doing some like fix it repairs probably on his house. The ladder slips. He's definitely reaching new heights that he probably wishes he was not reaching. <laughs> but yeah, the perspective on this piece is super awesome and like the actual painting skills are dope yeah this is just fun and funny and a really kind of cool concept for a painting because like you can make a painting of anything you want but sometimes when you choose something a little bit weird it makes the painting all the more interesting so awesome job on that one killer art killer art Ooh, we got some killer art next one is from nafkio i just really like these color combinations this looks like a, a poster or a comic book cover it's even got like the barcode and the qr code that red background is super popping it's a good combination of like strong design skills and illustration skills smashed together. You know I'm all about that. So good job, Nofkyo. Tra -la 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 -la. Next one is from Simon Harrison. Got this <laughs> awesome illustration of this VW van with this sloth chilling on a couch on the roof, staring at the universe, thinking deep thoughts. Lots of fun little details on this, like the all the camping supplies in that little shelving unit, the cool stickers on the side of the van door. Awesome lighting with the headlights going on and the glow off of the moon. Killer, killer, killer. Love that illustration so much. Next one's from Brandon Gebhardt. They painted this super sweet old school style skateboard. Love the trippy visuals. Lots of like crazy repeating pattern details. The symmetry is on point. That is a killer. Killer skate deck. I love me some skateboard art. Next one is from Bram Nijland from the Netherlands. Probably said that name wrong. Got this super sick 
a pelican maybe? I don't know, and it looks like a little kiwi bird. I just like the rendering style on this, the sort of soft edges that they have going on here, but then like the beak lines are super crisp, and it's a cool combination of like using different shading techniques. Thought it was really well done. Next one's from Alfonso Gomez Ortiz. They made this super sick. I'm thinking it's a digital piece of art. It's really awesome textures. He's like walking on this surface that almost looks like water or like a lava obsidian and then the sky is like the same texture. I don't know a ton about 3D rendering art or even like what goes into it or what it takes, but I'm sure that it is not easy. It's super dope. I like the angle, how it's like tilted a little bit. The horizon is kind of askew, but that's a sick piece. Oh, they said my art teacher from Zurich said if I get noticed, <laughs> I get an A for the semester. So fingers crossed. Well, you got noticed. Show this to your art teacher from Zurich. <laughs> Alfonso deserves an A. <laughs> Next one is from May Taylor. May made this, ooh, dang. Super popping colors, really cool, like badass chick in the foreground with her like over the shoulder kind of look. She's got her samurai sword. She's got her swaggy hoodie on, that popping gold hoodie. What does it say? Climbing the mountain, slay the dragon. Super powerful, super badass, super bright, super colorful. Sick piece, love seeing the analog art as well as the digital submissions. Nice job, May. Next one's from Victoria Brown, AKA Super Kitten Tea Party. <laughs> yeah, this is so sick. The super soft graphite shading. There's a little book there that says 10 hundred miles. Thanks for the shout out. The attention to detail is pretty insane. And I love this soft style of shading that they use on this piece. I thought it was really cool. And I like how it's kind of cropped with that curled page edge. Killed it, Victoria. Next one is from K Fragic. I just thought this was super trippy and super awesome. Very detailed, but still like bold and simple. Like when you first look at it, the image just strikes you. Very textury, super textury looking. Everything is like really well shaded when you look closely at it. K Fragic killed it. That's a sick piece. They're all sick pieces. There's too many good ones. You guys are too talented. Next one is from Jordan H. Jordan did this super detailed very fine line art, either tiny people or huge spider and mushrooms. The scale on this is tripping me out. Super clean, every little detail is on point. Nice job, Jordan. Next one is from Jake Summer Hour. Jake made this awesome, like super deep forest with this like stag, awesome like long-legged frog, purple bunny, pink hawk, blue mouse. It's like bright trippy colors, but there's also like great values and a richness to these colors to where it almost could be real. This is just a really cool, dense scene in a magical world. I love the world building. There's a lot of thought that went into this piece. Jake, that's a killer piece. Good job. This one's by Julia Kotze. Kotz. I don't know how to say that. Hey, Ten Hun, I'm an artist from South Africa. This one is so awesome and hilarious. It's like zoomed out. You got this mountain goat clinging to the side of a cliff. A little bit closer. You're like, what? It's holding itself up with its tongue. <laughs> and then even closer, you're like, oh, look at that crazy lizard wrapped around his horn. This is a really fun concept. I like how you took the image and just kept cropping it and cropping it to draw the viewer's attention to the most righteous parts. <laughs> really, really well um, illustrated as well. Like your technique is super strong and then just the overall storytelling is on point. Love that piece. You're awesome. Good job, Julia. Next one's from Lucas, tattoo artist from Nova Odessa, a small city near Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, super sick tattoo art. This kind of looks like, like Amelia Earhart or something, some kind of pilot with these like sweet kind of bird wing additions. Like the shading is so on point and I respect the hell out of tattoo artists because like I wouldn't even know where to begin. It's a killer tattoo and thanks for sending that in I love it next one from map 14 from the Philippines we got a lot of Filipinos holding it down oh this piece is sick love the flow of this piece the profile you got going the arrow points to the dude the dude feeds into the tiger all of these little crazy winged TVs are like 
robots are flying in the same direction. Really cool shading, awesome color choices, super rich. You got skills, map 14, you got skills. Next one is from Andres. Andres made this super awesome illustration of this like tiger ra guy riding this bicycle. And I really love the color choices, this sort of like crazy drippy wheel effect that's going on. The shading is done with like tiny dots. This feels really old timey. It looks like an advertisement for like an old like bicycle company or beer or something. And I just really, really, really like this style a lot. This is a sick illustration. It's dope. Next one is Andrea Grosu from Romania. Probably said that wrong. Andrea made this super cool illustration, this mountain scene. I really like the style of, I don't even want to call it shading. It's more like texturizing with these like crazy little colored lines. Lots of textures in this piece. Very exploratory, very reaching new heights. And this is just a really sick illustration. Thanks, Andrea, looks sick. Next one is from Midnight Eratum. This one was just crazy cool because of the reflection that they decided to illustrate. It's cool how you have this close-up of this hand holding this metal ball, and then the ball is bending the illustration, bending the cityscape. It's a cool perspective. Really clean, really well uh, rendered, and just a super dope illustration. Love it. Next one's from Jade Wood. Jade made this super awesome denim jacket and I love painting denim jackets, but like the amount of detail in this one and the actual type of scene that she decided to paint, these skiers, the mountains, the Tibetan flags. I've never seen a denim jacket like with a really kind of realistic landscape. And like, I just thought this was a really unique perspective. Jade also said, PS, I started using GAC 900 after watching your scary movie jacket video and it has changed my life. That's awesome, Jade. I could tell that you took that ball and ran with it because that is sick. Next one, Alexandra Stroka. Greetings from Poland, she says. Alexandra made this super sick piece of art. Black and white and red will always be dope. I really love the line art. I love the reverse imagery. You can flip this piece of art either way and it's still gonna look really dope. Really awesome use of negative space. There's a great balance to this piece. It's just bold and graphic and I love it. Awesome, jo <laughs> awesome job. Next one, Nicole Hoshalklas. Zerova. There's no way I can pronounce that. Sorry, Nicole. Whoa, this piece is so sick. I love, love the shades of kind of jade green and red that she used. The fact that you can still see the graph paper is something that I like very much because I used to draw on graph paper all the time. The style of character has so much personality. You definitely have your own unique style. You can eat this book not. You cannot eat this book. <laughs> Those fingers are on point. Super cool style of drawing eyes. Just every every bit of this character is exaggerated in all the right ways. She's taking the rules of proportions and bending them and breaking them and making proportions her own thing. Yeah, that's dope. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. I could just stare at that all day. Next one's from Nadine, 15 years old from the Philippines. This piece is so sick. The really soft style style of shading. There's a lot going on here. There's like so many elements to look at. 15 years old, that's crazy. I really like the wave that's coming out of that drink me bottle. This is the kind of piece where I just need to stare at it for like 15 minutes before I even start talking about it. But yeah, this is really cool. It's got a whole kind of soft look to it that a lot of other art doesn't necessarily have to it. If you were to see my art when I was 15 years old, you would definitely not be impressed. And I am very impressed by this. So good job, Nadine. Next one is from Stefan Sark. Kisyan. This illustration is so dope, so clean. I love the angle. I love the perspective. This kind of like upshot, shooting up at this like crazy architecture. Is that some kind of like super awesome water slide? I don't know. I want to go to that place. It looks really fun. Really to me, it's all about like how incredibly clean this illustration is and also how sick the perspective is. The color choices are really, really proper. Super awesome job, Stefan. This is from Marie hitting. She did this awesome like color pencil piece and it's got so much movement to it. It's so moody. I love the blues and the purples and the magentas. It's got some sadness to it. A story to tell without just like hitting you over the head with the story. The fact that it's really loose and in color pencil really works for this piece and I don't know. It's just striking to me. I really like it and I think you did an awesome job Merit. Marie. Sick. 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 Y'all are killing the game. 
Genesis Vic. Kioso from Dominican Republic. Wow, this piece is so crazy. It's super long, really, really detailed, really, really well illustrated. These birds look insanely good. The bark on this tree is like so crazy. All these locks and these keys going on. I'm just noticing this heart like way down at the bottom of the tree. Yeah, this piece is super killer. What can I say that your eyes aren't already telling you just by looking at this piece? That's awesome, Genesis. You killed it. Next one is from Julian Trier. Lives in Milan, originally from Denmark. They sent this animation. Looks like there's a lady kind of climbing on this rock face. Got this eagle <laughs> watching and she's climbing. Oh no, the rock broke. No, she's falling. Oh. But wait, wait. Oh, her team is helping her. All you need. We all need a safety line when reaching new heights. <laughs> Very cool. That like that actually had like a lot of shots in it. Animation is so difficult that like each one of those shots, those perspectives, the eagle shot, the zoom out to reveal the people helping her. I know that took a ton of time and yeah, killer. Animation, respect. There's a reason why I don't do it. I ain't got no time. Next one is from Oats. My boy Oats, you guys remember when we collabed? Actually, the first time I ever saw Oats art was in the very first one of these videos where I reviewed your guys' art. We ended up working together. We made a video together. I love his art. A lot of you guys, I think, follow him and like his art as well. But Oats sent this piece, super killer. Love his style of doing line art, really kind of loose and crazy. And like, he's got these loose scribbly lines, but there's always like a lot of confidence to him. He's got really cool character style, but I love like all these overlapping hands, The exaggerated proportions, the kind of trippy, crazy anatomy that he does. And Oates kills it. I mean, enough said. You guys have seen him on the channel. You probably follow him on Instagram. Holler at your boy. Good job, Oates. Love it. Next one, Zaro Matt from France. <laughs> this is just such an awesome scene. This guy's trying to reach new heights, but I mean, if I did zip lining, that would be me in like no time flat. This is funny. It's fun. The kind of watercolor painting style is really cute. I could see you selling like 10,000 coffee mugs with this image on it. <laughs> Next one, Gailey Hendrix sent this super cool uh, graphite illustration of this guy and he looks like he is ready to be launched into the air. Seems like he's sitting on the end of a trebuchet with like a boulder or a catapult or something and he's about to do something really stupid. <laughs> and also the actual pencil rendering and shading is super clean. So nice job, Gailey. <laughs> Next one is from Tash. Tash Casey from South Africa. And Tash did this crazy awesome illustration like her version of Jack and the Beanstalk. I love the hand hidden in the beanstalk with the kind of crossed fingers going on. This cool guy like doing his skateboard parkour off of the beanstalk. <laughs> the colors are really, really dope. Sort of like this mint green, teal, and magenta is a great color combination. And the illustrative style with the line work and a lot of the textures that she used are super sick. So awesome job, Tash. Next one's from Kevin Rhodes. Kevin made this super awesome city scene with this elephant and giraffe and like spiritual guru dude and the rendering and realism is just really, really sick. Looks a bit like a comic book illustration. The coloring is on point. It's just a great illustration. It's like so on point that it's just like hard for me to even say anything about it just because it looks good. <laughs> awesome job, Kevin. Next one is from Layan Alhamed. They did this super whimsical, cute illustration of this girl in this like magical starship box that she's using to like go to these floating islands. The lighting on this piece is so cool. That lantern is like illuminating her face. The light coming out of this little cabin on this floating island. This looks like it would just be like the perfect children's book illustrations. I love it. Next one, Gino Valvo. So Gino made this crazy animation that like continues to scroll up and up and up. They also made this piece of original music to go along with it. It's super awesome. Had the scenery keeps changing. This video is a little bit long, so I'm actually gonna speed this animation up a little bit, but they're also Big G on YouTube, so you might be able to watch the full version on their YouTube channel. I love all the textures and like the worlds that they're creating. It's really cool how it just like keeps going. It's super trippy, super awesome, really, really cool art. Awesome job, Gina. Next one is from May Randall, artist and shoemaker. <laughs> this was just so awesome because it's like literally reaching new 
new heights. Take a flip flop, stack them up like seven more. You will be reaching new heights. <laughs> it's cool to see somebody who like handcrafts their own shoes. That's definitely not in my wheelhouse, but these are awesome. And I love how literal this is for the reaching new heights prompt. So awesome job. Next one is from Gabriel Manalastas. Hey, Ten Hun, I'm a fan from the Philippines. Wow, this illustration is so sick. That owl is so proper. That tiger is so dope. The sea turtle. I just love these really detailed black and white illustrations when they're just like super on point like this. Really cool composition. I like how you made the background like pure black so that these animals and characters like really pop out. That's dope. Next one, Flap Jake. Wow, Flap Jake's killing it. And this is just a strong, strong piece with awesome illustration and like the light that's coming from that like energy blast in the center is up illuminating that astronaut character and the lighting's like really cool. Hitting all these mushrooms. That's just a strong, strong illustration. Nice job, Flap Jake. Next one is from Will. Ooh, super crazy, awesome pixel art. Wow, those clouds are crazy. This is bringing me back to like Sega Genesis, Super NES days. That gunship is crazy. Those clouds are crazy. This is fun. I love pixel art. Awesome job. Next one is from Voice. I made this art for six days and it took approximately 21 hours. Ooh, the stippling just makes my hand hurt looking at it. This is so crazy good. I love, wow, all those leaves. That's a beautiful face. Stippling is so crazy. Like I could just never ever even try to do that. I hope that you're like soaking your hand in like <laughs> ice water or Epsom salts or something because they must be sore. Nice job, voice art. Next one is from Mia Latter from South Africa. This piece is cool because it has so much motion to it. All of those like wavy waves of the cloud. And I really like how there's this sort of cloud dragon monster hidden in there. And that super ultra dragon kick is always so sweet. I used to try to do that all the time as a kid off the back of my mom's couch. It's a very magical piece, really cool colors. And I love the way you do your line art. Got another artist from the Philippines, Jovenism. And they made this awesome colorful, crazy mashup of like all these different illustrative elements. This girl in this cool Japanese mask. She's got the tentacle pigtails. When you use like super ultra vivid colors, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but this artist has like a strong understanding of how to use them in the right way. It's still like really bold and really bright, but somehow it's just working for me. That's dope, that's a dope piece. Next one is from Freeze, also from the Philippines. Wow, the Philippines are like, running the game on this video. <laughs> I swear there's been like 10 or 15 Filipino artists on here so far, that's sick. Freeze did this, what? <laughs> this piece is like the super YouTube artist craziness. You got Vex, Kipto, me, Mr. Beast is in there, ZHC, that looks like the odd ones out. Smo Nova's got a shout out, Slew's in there. Gosh, there's probably even like people I'm not recognizing. What's that? Is that red and black pattern PewDiePie? James Ray's? I don't really know who that is. I love the bear character. The lighting and shading on it is really cool. You got that anime style shading and like the motion of this bear character kind of falling. Dang, <laughs> this piece is so sick. I'm just like honored to be a part of this piece. Being surrounded by all those legends. Oh, Doke's in there too, I just saw. The YouTube bubble. Is that what's going on here? <laughs> Freeze. That's a really, really sick piece. I like that one a lot. Uh, next one is Daniel Kindle from Germany. Wow, this is such a crazy piece. So much detail. Like it starts out a little bit more ancient, like an old Japanese village, and then kind of gets a little bit more medieval and then moves up to a bit more modern. And then there's like robots and modern city skylines. And then there's like some kind of crazy temple at the top. All these, like all this line art, these waves waves and these clouds and wow this piece is really cool must have taken you so long to illustrate that i love it next one's from alex florence alex sent this animation super anime style animation but like i don't know this just seems like a lot of work super crazy so much motion ah, slam dunk <laughs> I just can't imagine how long that took. This one's from Jude Schroeder. Did this awesome illustration of this like really cool human tower. I thought like the simplicity of the way that he draws the figure, but also like how many of them there are and how many like overlapping elements. Thought it was well shaded and just kind of a striking piece. This like human tower is really cool. I like all these little guys. I wish I had little action figures of all of them so I could build my own little human towers. Next one is from Demetra Makraki. This one's really cool. Very illustrative, very designer 
flowery, looks like a poster, some kind of cool like rock poster or t-shirt design. The limited color scheme is really dope. I love the composition. Dope work, Demetra. This one's from Annie Noodle. Annie's doing these like lino cut prints, which have always been fascinating to me. I haven't done a ton of lino cut prints, but like the whole process of it, of like making the, the stamp, carving it out. These waves are really, really cool. I love the really strong black and white graphic imagery that she's producing here. The textures that you get from lino cut prints are really cool too. That sort of like, I don't know, stamped on look. And yeah, I just thought the details on this were really crazy and I can't imagine how long it took to actually like cut those stamps out. So awesome job, Andrea. Oh snap, is this the last one? Did we make it? Oh my goodness, the last one. Kenneth Carosa did this insane painting, probably the most realistic painting out of all the submissions. I had to like read his email description to see that it was actually a painting and not a photograph. But I just am like, anytime I see somebody who can actually paint like this, I'm like super humbled because I know that I will never be able to achieve that level of realism. <laughs> so respect to you. And I still think it might be a photo, but you said it was a painting, so good job. <laughs> and that is it for that one. So now it is time for me to name the winner of this crazy contest, but I actually need to think about it for a second. So next time you see me, which will be like in a second, I will have spent a good amount of time looking at all these and being like, who wins? So be right back. All right, I'm back. So <laughs> it was impossible for me to narrow it down to just one. So I actually have a top five. I've added some more prizes. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't narrow it down to just one. So coming in at number five, the prize is a $50 shopping spree on my website, 1000art.com. Is Nicole with You Cannot Eat This Book. I loved this piece. Such a cool illustration. Congratulations, Nicole. All right, number four, the prize will be a $100 shopping spree on 1000art.com. Is Andre with that tiger bike illustration. This one looks so cool, super clean, super old timey. Congratulations, Andres. All right, number three, the prize for this one is a hundred bucks. Real money is freeze <laughs> with that YouTube bubble illustration. This piece is just so sick and it hits close to home. Love how many awesome references you got in there. Coming in at number two, the runner up. Oh, the prize for this one is 200 bucks. Is Neil Marquez with the geisha, this cyborg geisha. I thought this was such an awesome illustration, such cool composition. Congratulations, Neil. And the grand prize winner, drum roll. Yeah. <laughs> 500 bucks is the grand prize. Oh, baby. Is. Jake Summer Hour with this awesome like forest scene, this deer. There's so many characters in there. I love the environment that you created. I love the way you're using colors. Your rendering is on point. I know this piece took you a long time. I love it. This is all just my opinion. It was so, so difficult choosing even just like the finalists and then like the grand prize winners, like choosing these pieces of art was so difficult for me because I love all of them. You guys did such a fantastic job. Congratulations to the winners. Yeah! So now for the outro of this video, I know everybody works super hard on their submissions. So I'm gonna play a slideshow of everybody's entry. Feel free to shout out your Instagrams down in the comment if you forgot to tag your photo. As the background music, I'm gonna play pieces of music that people submitted. Everybody worked super hard. All the art was so awesome. I think the video where I announced this thing has like 80,000 views. So even if you didn't get picked for the main part of the video, just know that you did something that like 79,000 people didn't do. So you're already in an elite class just for entering. I just want to thank my patrons who support me on a monthly basis. You guys are awesome. You're the coolest people on the internet. I really, really appreciate you. And a quick thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And a huge gigantic thank you to all of you who entered the art prompt competition. I had such a blast looking at all these pieces, even though Gmail kept locking me out. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I know this video is kind of crazy long, but I don't know. I just didn't want to cut anybody's art out. Like everybody's so dope. I love this community. You guys are so talented talented and thank you so much for participating in this art prompt all right let's jump in to all the submissions rapid fire slideshow here we go i'm 1000 peace out what's up everybody my name is michael giannotti today i'm gonna be painting a cover for my song reaching new heights i hope you enjoy Demons, no one knows. Protect your heart, protect your soul. Grab your family, keep them close. As we go through highs and lows, through highs and lows, 
We reach new highs and we reach new goals. We fight to win and we fight for gold. We reach new highs, new highs and lows. Yeah, new highs and lows. I battle with diabetes every day. That's in my DNA. I'm the first in my bloodline. I got it from G.O.D., not from G.M.A. That's how I know that I'm chosen. I gotta own it. I gotta take it and live in the moment. I gotta make it and get in my zone and get off my phone. Leave me alone. Negative energy ain't got a place in my home. Positive energy's all that I got and all that I know. Y'all building forts and playing with rocks. I'm building Rome. I'm not gonna stop. I'm reaching new heights and reaching new goals. Damn. We battle demons. No one knows. Protect your heart. Protect your soul. Grab your family, keep them close As we go through highs and lows Through highs and lows We reach new highs and we reach new goals We fight to win and we fight for gold We reach new highs, through highs and lows Through highs and lows Yeah, I'm reaching new levels and reaching new heights I wanna win and I'm down to fight I'm never down for the count My foot is down on the pedal, that's what it's like Waking up early and staying up late Going to work at a minimum wage I'm writing this verse on my break I know I may not make a lot of money But I make a lot of sense Shout out my mama, she paying the rent She giving me somewhere to stay I'm gonna give her two commas whenever I'm paid When I'm on top, we'll buy a house on the lake Or maybe a yacht, or maybe not Cause that costs a lot, it isn't the smartest decision to make We battle demons, no one knows Protect your home, protect your soul My name is Hazel, aka Nochola the Drawer, and I just wanted to say a massive thank you so much for all of your videos, inspiration, and hard work. Because thanks to your videos, I have now done my first mural. <laughs> Step, but then I fall again. Fall again. 
that I felt. And they laughed at me and they called me no legs. They called me no legs. With you.